I studied at Graz for one semester in um, spring of 2018, and my majors are French and German, so I took that time to go to Graz so I could improve my German. And your name, please? Morgan Steffen. So what drew uh, you to your house institution and city? Uh, I was interested in going somewhere to learn German, but not necessarily to Germany, because I already knew a lot about Germany and I wanted to experience another German-speaking country. So I wanted to go to Austria, and that was the option there, and I thought it seemed like an interesting city. What is your favorite memory or one of your favorite moments from your time in Graz? Um, I think getting to meet a bunch of different people from a bunch of different countries, and also getting to visit different countries every weekend. That was another good thing. Were you also involved uh, a lot with the local students? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I did have, I'd say like half of the half of the people I spent time with were exchange students and half the people were local students. And I used the time with local students to improve my German. Can you share an interesting fact about your host city or institution? Um, so, Graz is the second biggest uh, city in Austria, and I honestly hadn't heard of it until I was looking for a place to go for a semester. It's a very lively city, and there's a lot of events, especially for students. And it's a very, it's a very university-focused city because there are a lot of universities in the city, and so there's a lot to do if you're a student there. But I hadn't heard of it beforehand. But and it's also only two hours away from Vienna, so that's really cool too. What are the best things about the host institution and city? I think the best thing about the city is Schlossberg, which is this hill in the middle of the city where they have like a castle and you can go up there and look over the whole city and look one way goes towards Slovenia and the other way goes towards like the mountains and they're super forested and really pretty. And other thing would be you could walk anywhere. It would take a little longer, but you could walk anywhere or take public transport or bike. I think a good thing in general about the experience of being a student at at least the University of Graz, the students there are very welcoming and the professors are very welcoming to exchange students. So they'll look out for you and if you're struggling, like they'll help you. What language did you communicate? I all my classes were in German except for two French classes. Please describe the differences and similarities between the academic system at Austin University and Texas State. Um, I think one similarity is there's a similar function in terms of how much you get to know your professors um, because I also studied in France and there there was not very much communication with the professors at all I felt like and it wasn't really expected that you would get to know them but there the professors were very helpful and um, the coursework was a little more interactive and mostly based on like doing projects and stuff so that was similar. What about the style that they had? What were they at seminar? Oh okay yeah most of the classes I took were uh, post seminars which were just yeah seminar classes. So I'd say like half my classes, the main thing we did was you got into groups and you did presentations and then each week there'd be a different presentation and your main grade at the end was to have like a long paper. And it was interesting because you got to choose your own topic and everything and so it was a really interesting um, style of class. And there weren't any multiple choice exams, you had to, it's, it was just fill in tests kind of thing. Please describe the course registration process at Cross University, any guidance on the course selection process. Um, so for registering for classes at Graz, everything was online. Most of my classes were in linguistics and then I was able to take some in education and then some in French. So um, I was able to take for multiple different things and I think regular students they're supposed to stick to just one discipline. So it's good. I would encourage people who want to take different things as long as it fits with their own course requirements at Texas State then to kind of pick around and look for what's interesting because um, all the classes I took, since they were all in German, they were able to count for advanced German electives. So they all counted for the same thing at Texas State, so I was able to kind of be creative with how I got those credits, which was really nice. So was it easy to find classes, course catalog? Um, yeah, yeah. So actually, their, um, their whole online system, they have it in German and in English. So for me, that was helpful. You can look at descriptions of all the classes in both German and in English. But at the beginning of the semester, my German was not as good as it was at the end of the semester. So it was good at the beginning to just um, be able to know for sure what I was signing up for and that kind of thing. So students with little knowledge of German, they can go through? As far as I can tell, yeah. Yeah, I didn't take any classes in English, but I knew a lot of people that just took classes in English. So it seems like that's totally possible. Possible. Any advice on getting housing options at Patrick University? Yeah, I would definitely recommend staying um, in the uni in the university provided housing. It was a 15 minute bike ride from the building where I had most of my classes in, but it was really nice because you're with other students. 
The one I stayed at, it was a bunch of different flats, so you're in it with five other students. There was a few people who were like from different countries. Even though they weren't exchange students, there was a lot of international stuff, even within like my own flat, so that was really nice. I think I paid like less than $250 a month. So you save money on house. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, just, exchange program. yeah, yeah, definitely. Like I spent way less on housing during exchange than I, and I, like it's way cheaper than you could ever find in San Marcos, so that's really nice. Would you attend to the same university? Definitely, yeah. So if they had the program that I want to do for graduate school, I would totally go there for graduate school. They don't, so I won't. But I was really glad that I chose Graz because also it's in Austria, so it's something that's different. And you get to learn fun, uh, the Austrian German, which is fun. And some words are like totally different and super cute, I think. We do encourage others to participate in the exchange program to this university. Yeah, absolutely. Because the university, it's really easy, I think, to be an exchange student there. They have a lot of um, outings for the exchange students, so they have a lot of trips that are organized. And um, yeah, the university is really nice and very supportive, and the whole culture there is really conducive to like meeting people from there and from other countries that are there, too. So I definitely recommend it. Choose a song that best capture your experience abroad. Which would it be? Oh gosh. Okay, I was thinking about this. It's kind of hard. Um, I would say this song called um, "Bros" by Rin R I N. That's a German rapper. Because I was introduced to all this German rap while I was there, and then I started listening to it ever since. And so, that's a good one. I'd say that one. Yeah.